When I came home tonight, the back door light was not working. The switch is on, so the bulb probably just burnt out. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. Well, we had a slight sign of life there. That's weird. It seems like if I touch it, then it starts to light. What the heck is up with that? Oh, it doesn't look like the... doesn't look like the, um, the bulb is cracked or anything. Hmm. That's peculiar. Let's turn it on and off a couple times and see if it's going to ignite reliably. Nope. So I think what's happening here is this CFL is right on the cusp of being EOL. And for whatever reason, if I hold it in a certain way, it seems to to want to ignite, which is kind of weird. I've never had a CFL do this before. It's very strange. Well, we're going to go ahead and replace this because the ballast is scalding hot. So this is probably some kind of hazard at this point. I, can, I can't even hold the, the ballast. So this, um, let's go inside where it's a little lighter. <laughs> it's almost 200 degrees. Yeah, that's not safe. So this CFL is a two-spo CFL. I believe the model number is going to be TP120 13 MSL GU24. This is the bulb that came with that light fixture, which is a Lithonia lighting wall pack. I believe this was installed about, about a year ago. And I'm surprised this lasted as long as it has because it sits in the fixture like this with the ballast up. Additionally, it's in a very small enclosed area, which are two conditions that a self-ballasted bulb should just never be subjected to because it contains all the heat and puts it right on the ballast, which is a good way to cause a premature failure. As you can see, this has really been getting pretty hot for some time now it's all um, it's all yellowed and deteriorating on the top the plastic is in real bad shape it's not quite picking up the yellowing on the camera I think it's a little bit too uh, a little too washed out but it's it's very very yellowed and I'm not surprised this failed at all I'm actually I was surprised it lasted as long as it had so that's that now we need to replace the bulb. Now I didn't think that was going to last very long at all, so I bought, shortly after I installed the fixture, I bought GU24, the standard E26 base adapters. Because I figured sooner or later I'm going to have to replace the bulb. So I got this which we can use to put in a regular bulb and now we have to think about what bulb to put in we're not going to put in a CFL because it's just going to burn out again real quick and it's kind of a waste of uh, of an incandescent bulb so maybe we'll just try to find a stupid DEL and stick it in there I think I'm going to 
change that fixture soon. This is not opened yet. I could put that in there. Is this one opened? No, this one not opened either. I could put that in there. Um, I thought I had some orange ones. I think these were the orange ones. Yeah, these are amber. These, I believe, are similar in color to the... Um, Sodium lights. What does this claim to be? I think it was 2200K or something. Let's try this. Color 1800K. I have little 50 watt wall packs that are pretty much identical in form factor. To this one and I think that's what I'm gonna put out there next um, but until I get around to that we need something out here so we'll try this It's actually a little bit warmer than the um, sodium lights. But it's not bad. I'm going to go turn the sodium lights off and let's see if this is bright enough. It's not as bright as the CFL was. I think this is only supposed to be a 40 watt equivalent, whereas the CFL was a 60. But it's enough to see the doors and it does put a little bit of light on the stairs. So it'll serve its purpose for now. I don't like how the light is only coming out the bottom though. Looks kind of dumb. So this is not a long-term solution, but this will work for now. I've misplaced those other fixtures, the sodium ones. When I find them, I'll probably put one here, and I'll, I have two. I'll put one here and the other one up on deck. <laughs> 